I am Arpita and uh, I have passed out from 2007 to 11 batch from Hindustan College and uh, I studied there in mechanical engineering branch and then I got placed from the campus in L&D technology services and then after few years I was in the same company like L&D technology services in a Mumbai location and then uh, I got shifted to uh, Finland and currently I'm working uh, in uh, aerospace company of Finland that is ISIOY working as a mechanical designer. That's yeah. really great to hear ma'am. So ma'am my next question to you is how has the transformation been from a college student to a professional? Uh, you know uh, it, it was quite nice uh, when you when you get into a college and then uh, when you leave the college you go to a uh, to live a professional life it's quite different but when you go uh, to uh, in a professional life then you know you have to perform every day yeah it was quite nice you meet uh, new so many new people you learn so many things from them so yeah good to hear ma'am so ma'am, uh, did you face any rejections or failures in your career? And if yes, then how did you cope up with them? This is an interesting question. So rejection and failure, it is an endless process, you know. You can't say uh, after 10 years you won't uh, face any rejection or failure. It's been 10 years for me. If I want to switch my, you know, the job again, it's, it, it's not sure all are, all are the company outside, they are there for you, no. You will apply, you will get uh, rejected. It's not like uh, always you will get positive response from the different companies, but that's okay. You have to take that, uh, you know, uh, positively. So uh, my strategy was, strategy was like, okay, if I get something like that, don't get demotivated. Like I just keep keep going. So I'm um, uh, like since. In your job, you have to work with teams, you have to deal with teams. So how difficult is it to deal up with teams and gel in everyone very quickly? Uh, like for me, it's not at all uh, uh, tough for me because it's it's more depend upon your personality, you know, your behavior. How uh, like then then the interpersonal skills comes into the into the field, you know. Uh, how communicative you are, how adaptive you are, how good you are to the others. So if you are good with the other team members, if you are communicative, you go to them, you talk to them first, it's fine. So it becomes easy. What strategy did you follow to grow up in this field? Like for me, it was uh, always, uh, uh, you know, adapt a positive approach. Like you have to... Uh, you have to uh, be ready to take a risk like okay you can do it if you are good you know the people are there to to, to support you so first thing is stay positive just uh, keep learning keep talking to the people uh, there is no harm to ask from someone's help you know now i'm going 10 years back i would like to know uh, how was your college life how did you manage extracurricular your academics and your extra skills Ah, 10 years back, it's been a decade for me <laughs> to pass out from the college. It was quite nice. It was very nice. Like, it's still, it's still I miss the, you know, college days. At some, um, you, like, nowadays, nowadays, if you are working on something and then you're like, okay, this thing I learned there. Like, and my favorite uh, thing was, you know, being a mechanical engineer, I studied there in mechanical department. So the workshop, there you you perform like you can do the practical you know like there are so many shops and carpentry blacksmithy so you don't need to learn okay what is the blacksmithy process if you know the you know okay there was a sh workshop it was written blacksmithy so you know what it is what is the process so um, uh, and there are you know uh, faculty outstanding faculty out there who are ready to help you there are uh, perfect uh, labs there if you wanna uh, learn something in your extra time you can talk to them and then they are ready to help you you can go there you can uh, you know learn things so yeah it was quite nice like uh, endless memories 
and for for the for the yes for the extra curriculum activity sports was the main thing like like for me i didn't do any cultural thing maybe once in uh, final year <laughs> but uh, sports for for uh, the kho kho like uh, i think it started when uh, i was in second year in 2008 because they, uh, and and it it was separate for the girls for the boys different and then in mechanical there were never so many girls like so that you can create a team you know so yeah it was nice i was into badminton sports and then athlete it develops the quality like you have to you 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 have pressure you have to perform in academic and then you have to perform here so that's how you build thing okay you can work under pressure you can you can perform under pressure you can cope up with everything so it was quite nice there are phases you will learn so ma'am like you are a parent now so is it difficult for you to manage both uh, the work of the mother as well as your professional work currently i am in that stage you know it's been a month i resumed working i was on maternity leave uh, uh, there are challenges i mean still i am facing challenges but again i i told you you know uh, you learned it in the college how you will work I, you can't do anything you have to go ahead with this so you, you know when the time comes there are there you you will think there will be option you have to choose so it's up to you how you wanna you know go ahead you wanna give up you wanna say it or no like it's up to you there are many ways just you have to find out you have to give your fight it will be fine so uh, you mean to say that somehow our college also teaches us parenthood like how dealing with everything tells us teaches us later on in life how to deal with parenthood as well as professional of, work of course you know it more uh, comes like time management how you do this yeah yes uh please do visit the college will be honored to welcome you once again and definitely and, uh, i would at some point Yes, ma'am. So, one of the last thing that I want to ask is that: Is there any piece of advice you would like to give to your juniors? Uh, yes. Uh, like, okay, uh, like y- you are in the college. There are faculties. Uh, you you will have courses. You will get through it. But academic is a different thing. And then, if you want to get into a professionalism, it is a different thing. So, you know. Uh, since since from the first year the college work on your behavior on your personality there are pc classes professional yeah uh, like po- what is that personal communication i guess or professional communication classes or pdp classes pdp classes comes at the end like they 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 uh, like for, they'll prepare you for the interview for the mock test for the everything but for the first year in the pc classes you know you will uh, develop your uh, personality so you know never take it lightly ah this is pc uh, it 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 it, uh, it 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 doesn't anything it it it's not anything just uh, like the people who comes from the uh, like uh, hindi medium background and, and i was from there so you know some people cope up with the english language some people are not confident at all so don't worry don't take it uh, you know uh, don't afraid of, from a afraid of it don't uh, uh, like uh, hesitate to uh, get on the stage and speak like anything like nobody is there to judge you but they are there to help you so yeah my uh, the the if i'll say one word like you have to stay positive and just uh, keep learning keep efforting and then you will get your aim one day <laughs> very sure yeah like what you said stay for staying positive is really necessary in life and that's how we have to deal with every situation that come across in our life yes so it was nice talking to you ma'am and even i have learned a lot from you and i believe that all the viewers who are going to watch this video are going to learn a lot and are going to follow you and be as you are today so thank, thank you so you much so much for- thank you so much and all the very best to you as well for your future thank you ma'am Thank you.